Given the fragmented nature of the mobile market, developing mobile web apps is the easiest way to transfer the code from one mobile platform to the other. But despite the remarkable progress that HTML5 has made in recent years, there are still many features that can only be developed using native language like Objective-C, Java, and .NET. Few examples could be augmented reality, pages with unique animation requirements, or access to native device features that are not yet supported by HTML, such as the device's address book. Worklight solves this problem by allowing developers to combine both web and native code within the same application. Our runtime components allow web pages to seamlessly interact and exchange data with native pages in a way that's completely transparent to the user. The result is a mobile app that reuses the majority of the code across different environments, but still delivers the rich experience and features that mobile users expect. To better describe this capability, we created a simple app that demonstrates Worklight's hybrid coding. On the left side of the screen, you can see the studio, the platform's Eclipse-based IDE, and on the right, an Android device with our demo app that's called Using Native Pages. Let's launch the app and see how it works. As you can see, the opening page, which has been written using only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, lets us choose a name. Now let's click on the Take Picture button. The app switches to the native page, which displays the camera view with a text overlay of the name we chose. The text represents data that is sent from the web page to the native page. From the native camera view page, we can take a picture, and the application will automatically return the captured shot to the web page. Let's take a look at how this is done under the hood. On the left side of the screen, we can see the application's interface, written in HTML code. Note the code that is used for the text, the input field, the button, and the div used for planting the retrieved picture. Turning to the main JavaScript code, we can see that the app has two internal functions that handle the transition between web and native pages upon clicking the button. The app calls the simple WL Native Page API to invoke the native page. The API can pass parameters, in this case the username, and provide a callback function that is called once the native part has completed the action. Let's switch to the Java class Camera Demo to see what happens once the WL Native Page API is called. The native page collects the data submitted on the web page, and the rest of the camera functionality is executed in native code. Once the picture is taken and the native activity is complete, the app will automatically return to the web page. In the main JavaScript folder, we can see the function called return from native. This function returns the captured data from the native page and places it under the element we created and called image. The callback function uses data provided by the native page, in this case the picture, and places that data in the designated area. To summarize, in this video we learned how, using Worklight's hybrid coding, developers can easily combine web and native code within the same application. Thanks for watching.